Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new episode in which we explore the incredible career of Stephanie Mills and today we are going to listen to the album in which she gives us the cure to everything even to a love hangover uh, Stephanie Mills I've got the cure this is the last album that she did for Casablanca Records uh, before moving uh, to MCA and it is an amazing amazing album and it was a huge hit for her the single The Medicine Song which is the very first song of this album um, in which um, as you can see on the album cover and um, also in the video clip uh, Stephanie Mills is portraying the sexy nurse the doctor and um, and she really poured her heart and all her energy and creativity into this album and into this song especially because she says that she really really did all the tweaks and little changes until it was absolutely perfect for her and what a perfect song it is I remember listening to that song for the first time on the radio I immediately of course recognized um, the voice of Stephanie Mills but by the end of the song I think I knew the song by heart and I was just so excited now this album was not distributed in France you could only find it as an import and um, it was really really tough for me but I was able to go to London and get the album and in the UK it was a huge hit I heard it everywhere I went in stores in coffee shops in restaurants I could hear the medicine song so that was pretty pretty exciting now the, the album is from 1984 the song came out as a single a little bit earlier and uh, it garnered a lot of attention it only uh, became number 10 uh, on the billboard it really should have been a number one hit but it was not but the entire album is a great 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 album an album from 1984 so it's synths and um, it's a lot of computerized music but you must remember that this is Stephanie Mills so when she puts her voice into something she immediately makes it human and there's no computer no synthesizer that's going to make anything sound robotic with Stephanie Mills now the uh, right after the medicine song the second song is Edge of the Razor which uh, was not a hit it was sung a lot she did a lot of um, 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 uh, singing uh, and appearances on television American Bandstand uh, singing both songs back to back but Edge of the Razor which is very very similar uh, to the medicine song musically because it's hard although it's even a little bit more hard edge a little bit more hard rock but it uh, it's not as um, a, a, a appealing because the medicine song you know is a song about the doctor and about you know just like love hangover by Diana Ross so um, it's something that you remember immediately edge of the razor is you know a little bit less uh, obvious but nevertheless it's a great song and it's such a good idea to put these two songs back to back because immediately you know that you're in for an album that's gonna really really move and really um, has a style on its own the third song is in my life in my life is a back to R&B much back to a, a, a much more a classical type of, uh, of soul orchestra and the song was also used as the title for her um, a greatest hits album called uh, Stephanie Mills greatest hits in my life and uh, although the song was not one huge hit for her but um, it is definitely a fan favorite and it's the kind of song that you absolutely love and for anybody who's a fan of Stephanie Mills definitely when you return to that you 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 um, you recognize her style much more give it half a chance uh, is a really beautiful beautiful song it's a ballad it brings the album down a little bit and uh, it is a song um, that is written by Kenny Loggins so um, you know he writes beautiful beautiful um, uh, lyrics and uh, it's just a song where Stephanie Mills is able to really uh, 
play out all her vocal talent and really give you know her style and what we know about her then we move on to a song called outrageous now outrageous is the side b of the album if you're like me and you had albums and cassettes and uh, this time it's much more hard hard hitting uh, very very synthesized music and um, it's very funny because on the same label Casablanca Cher had a song called Outrageous on her Prisoner album which I covered previously but they both have nothing to do um, with one another. Uh, you uh, Just Might Need a Friend is another beautiful ballad, beautiful love song. Um, her, her notes, the notes that uh, Stephanie Mills hits on that song are just absolutely absolute perfection she's just so exquisite so high and at the same time the pitch is just 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 absolutely perfect everlasting love is a beautiful beautiful power ballad uh, that was written by someone who produced for anita baker and it's in that style of music just absolute passionate songs where uh, just written just made for someone like Stephanie Mills and she finishes off this album with two songs that were both produced by David Wolinsky and uh, they uh, are Rough Trade and Undercover both of them hard rock but always with because of this very very highly computerized music what we called at the time new wave but what is incredible in this album is that it's not an album that's frozen in time in the 80s like so many of these albums even albums that we loved and you listen to today and you think oh my god this is so 1980s you can't listen to it anymore here they're able to with the vocals of Stephanie Mills and she was the executive producer on this album so she was able to put in all of this 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 rhythm uh, and 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 blues uh, uh, sensitivity that really humanizes all of this this computerized music also this is 1984 so all of the synths are starting to get better and better because uh, at first they really sounded just like you know one of those cheap organs but little by little this music is getting very very good and they're beginning to resemble real instruments like the violins and the trumpets and even getting some sounds that just cannot be repeated uh, by uh, by humans so this is what we're getting on this this is the very last album that Stephanie Mills did with Casablanca and then she moved to MCA and went to soar to even higher uh, music and bigger hits and I will surely talk to you about um, uh, this period in time of uh, Stephanie Mills but I will see you next week with some more music from another one of my divas i'll see you very soon oh by the way i'm wearing the heaviest sweater i own i beaded it uh, during confinement and then finished beating the sleeves um, recently um, and it weighs five and a half kilograms so that's about uh, 14 pounds so uh, i can't wait to take it off because as my idol diana ross says this mother's heavy <laughs> I'll see you next week for new albums and new music. Bye-bye.